Hello, I'm Jay Magnus Stinson, the Chief Judge of the United States District Court for the Southern District of Indiana. If you're watching this video, you likely have received a summons to appear for jury duty in our court. While jury duty can seem like a burden during normal times, in the midst of a global pandemic, you may be more concerned than usual about fulfilling this important civic duty. I'm here to reassure you that the court is doing everything possible to keep jurors safe and comfortable during their service. There is nothing more important to me and my colleagues than protecting your health and the well-being of your loved ones. We have a robust plan in place and are following guidelines put forth by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention as well as local and state health officials. Some preventative measures the court is taking include requiring everyone who enters the courthouse to wear a face covering unless a valid medical excuse is presented or a judge orders otherwise. All individuals, where possible, must maintain social distancing of at least six feet. Plexiglass barriers have been installed where social distancing is not possible. All visitors are required to answer health screening questions before entering the courthouse and employees conduct self-health screenings each morning before reporting to work. And the courthouse's janitorial staff conduct enhanced cleaning in all public spaces at least once per day. In between enhanced cleaning sessions, court staff will disinfect frequently touched surfaces. The court is taking numerous other steps designed to protect jurors, including only starting one jury trial per day and limiting on-site court personnel to just those necessary to maintain court operations. This greatly reduces the number of people in the courthouse. You'll also notice in the packet you received in the mail that jurors are requested to take their temperature and do a health self-check before leaving home each day of their jury service. If you have a fever, do not pass the self-check or otherwise feel ill, do not report to the courthouse and contact jury administration immediately. When you arrive at the courthouse to begin your jury service, please wear a mask. If you do not have a mask, the court will provide one for you. We have numerous options available. Once you enter the building, you will be greeted by a court employee who will be masked and seated behind a plexiglass barrier. All jurors will be instructed to remain at least six feet from one another while they approach the check-in area. You will complete a no-contact ID check and COVID health screening. You will also receive a plastic bag with materials that you will need throughout your service, including hand sanitizer, a contact tracing sheet, a parking slip, a juror number badge and placard, instructions on how to print your attendance certificate and to complete a jury survey, and a pen. If you are paneled as a juror, you will also receive a notebook. The bag will stay with you throughout the trial and will remain in the jury room when you leave each evening. Once you've completed check-in, you will go through our regular security screening, then be directed to the jury assembly room. Here you will undergo orientation. The chairs in the jury assembly room are arranged to allow for six feet of social distancing between all jurors. Restrooms will be available. Once your orientation is complete, You'll be escorted to the courtroom while observing social distancing. Jurors who wish to do so may take the stairs, but elevators are available as well. No more than two people will be allowed in the elevator at a time. Once you arrive in the courtroom, you will notice that the furniture has been rearranged to allow for social distancing. In the few areas where the space doesn't allow for people to remain a full six feet from one another, Plexiglass barriers have been installed for an extra layer of protection. The court staff will direct you to your seat. During jury selection, you may be asked to approach a microphone on a stand to answer questions from the judge or attorneys. This will eliminate the need to pass a microphone among jurors. If you are selected to serve on the jury, the judge in your case may order that individual packaged lunches will be provided to jurors. The court will make clear at the start of the trial whether lunch will be provided or not. During breaks and deliberations, jurors will be placed in rooms that allow for social distancing 
and provide access to restrooms that are off limits to members of the public. Sanitizing wipes will be available in the jury deliberation and break rooms, as well as the restrooms, should you wish to wipe down any surfaces. Hand sanitizer will also be available in many locations. I hope that all of these steps will provide you with peace of mind as you embark on your federal jury service. On behalf of the court, please accept my sincere thanks for fulfilling your civic duty as a juror in the Southern District of Indiana.